passing the sales document. Okay, instead of that, it's passing other filters. It's passing everything else. And apart from that, it's automatically these two filters have got created in the called up. I also tried it. I right. Yes, yes. Because now, um, now as of now, like the navigation which you have added, it 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 has to be like you added it for the one column only, right? Or uh, sales yes. organization you added? Yes, sales document. Sales document. Okay, can you show me the CDS forms? See, even if you see here in the parameters, uh, it's getting all the parameters except the sales order number. Hmm. Right. Right. Yeah, it's I can see order, order number as parameter, which is very surprising to me that apart from that, everything is coming plus additional values are getting created, but order number is not coming. Oh, order item I can see. Yeah, right. Order number should come. See, I can restrict restriction is possible, but I, I'm not sure if that is going to work or not. If I create a parameter here. Mm -hmm. I just unselect this thing. Allow additional parameters. Like uh, maybe there would be something like uh, we can restrict while passing while performing that uh, restriction. It will be fine. This will restrict it. But problem was why this why sales order number is not getting passed and everything else is getting passed. So uh, have you checked the field name exactly like the field yeah, or whether uh, whether that thing is there as a selection field or everything? Yeah, yeah. the field names are all the same. And this is, I don't know why it's happening with this because I think it is happening with always on the field that you're making it as hyperlink. Mm -hmm. Locally, when I tried locally, it, it's not even showing hyperlink. Okay, so this is your sales order. See, now nothing is getting passed. Okay, can you show me the CDS of this list report and, and that sales order like uh, the one? I, let me do this one for once. Now it will work. See, it, that means the parameter is getting recognized. I created this. See, it is working. Hmm. But it is not getting passed from the application itself. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Okay, can you show me the CDS of this uh, selection field which you have added as a uh, as a filter in this uh, list report that that field and then we can again check for that table card which you made it as a hyperlink See, this is order number no and this is also order no everything is same mm, okay uh, can you show me the actu actual uh, main logic of this uh, a CDS like data data definition. Okay, it is VBELN as order number. And then and what about that? The other one? Yes, other one. That is also the same. Yes, yeah. Well, the same that I have created, you know. And how many hyperlinks you made? Like um, in that table, in that table card, you made two hyperlinks, right? Yeah. Can you go back? That I tested it. I just tested it. Mm -hmm. That I tested it, but it's not passing this sales document. See, it's not coming from the application somehow because it is taking it here. And the hmm. calling application is reading it also. And all the other parameters are getting passed, which is getting passed, right? right? If I let's see, let's say I add one more here that will get passed.
very slow. Hmm. Okay. You know, sales is getting passed automatically, see. Right, right. Yeah, sales organization. I can see it. It's getting passed. But like, uh, for example, for that table, what can be the key fields? For one, it is, uh, you know, for one, it is sales order number. And sales order item for the calling application, it is sales order number. OK, like. Yeah, and then because there is no, mm -hmm. it, is it trying to look for some navigate? I don't know. It should try do that, but ideally, I'm it's, it's happening it. through a CDS only. Like internally, yeah. there is no like explicit logic, uh, which has been written. Correct. It's a standard uh, because if, if there was any wrong thing, then we would have like debugged and we would have added a fix. Like we just just by adding that at the rate consumption dot semantic object. Anyhow, like whichever field we are adding, only that link is uh, only that field will be highlighted as a link and it will yeah. just pass. I don't know like, uh, but anyhow, it's, it's also passing some couple of other parameters right at the same time. Yeah, OK, I'll. The other other parameters, yeah, they are getting passed. But I'm surprised why this is not coming. I'm just thinking, is it because of the difference in key fields? Might be. Because yeah, might be. One second, just I will also check once. Because I'm not even pulling any data based on that. It is just passing it to the screen. When I tried with sales document, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, it's it's happening for uh, this also like sales document. Division and plant it's passing. Even passing order item, I don't know why it's not passing the order number. So in both cases, the key fields are same. I mean, like what we can do no, key simply. Fields are not the same. Key fields are different. Key fields are different. In both the Maybe that, yeah. Uh, can we do one thing like simply? Mm -hmm. Can you can you quickly create one sample uh, simple CDS? It'll take time. <laughs> I don't know. Like, uh, or otherwise, you you can just uh, whatever the logic you have written, right? Yeah. So maybe yeah. like yeah. only yeah. one. Yeah. It, only three, four fields. We will keep it as in a column for list report, and uh, and then basically in in this also like overview page also we can keep only three, four fields only in that, and other other fields we can just put a comment. Will that be possible? Like, just a second. Let, let me just turn this one as well. I change. Mm -hmm. I've added the same uh, you no know, semantic object to other field as well. Hmm. Hmm.
see now the order number is getting passed hmm okay i changed i added the same on the other field okay okay so what was nothing, the fix now nothing i didn't <laughs> that's what i'm surprised see if i make this as hyperlink this field as hyperlink mm-hmm. i click on it this doesn't mm-hmm. get passed but if i make okay. some other field hyperlink and use the same semantic object then the then it's getting passed more why if you see this let me vertical report so here it is passing the sales document number in this application mm right right yeah which is quite so, so in this application so three scenarios in this application if i use a semantic object on this field i call it order number is not getting passed if i use the same on other field order number is getting passed if from the list the alp list report i am clicking on this and calling the another application it is again passing it properly even the order number is there in here so that means something is application is doing on its own it's surprising why it, on that particular field it is not working it's passing everything order item order number and more the way it, it is working if i selected if i pass to the url manually right mm-hmm. if i add it here it is working fine what is it that it is the so same application this is the same application being called in different ways just Only give me one case. minute i mean I'm, I'm i'm also just checking that no how about all i can play with this now but i don't think this is something that because if i will make it mandatory you know it will not even call it if i made it mandatory it's not even calling it because when that means i made it mandatory application has to pass it and this application mm-hmm. is not passing this order number yeah now it will say no content available yeah yeah That's so what what point. you added for um so for that one point. in the line item sorry uh, can you go back once in that ovp app yeah Uh, for that sales uh, sales order number like it it when you click on that link it says uh, no no content so what cds you have added for that like in in actual cds no nothing i just made it mandatory in here now it will find but this well this value is not getting passed which is very strange you can see here it is getting passed you know in a hyperlink it is not getting passed from hyperlink it it is not getting passed yeah let me let me do one thing let me make this add one customer field also on which i made the hyperlink to see
the even the customer is not getting passed i made it as a hyper i made it as a hyperlink so some of the field that is being made as hyperlink is not getting passed and see the sales document is getting passed Hello, Aman. Yeah, yeah, one blog is there regarding the navigation internally, how it works. Okay. Uh, just check that once. This is going to problem. Not sure whether uh, maybe you, you might have gone with this. OK, so like uh, Suprita, let's just maybe she just want to know like how the navigation is done. Yeah. Right, yeah. OK, Aman, can you do one thing? Just share and then just uh, if possible, can you just uh, show us like what code? I'll, I'll just explain to Suprita. Are you showing any blog? Huh? Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I like I pinged you in chat. One blog I have shared, so maybe you can just check that once. This one. I'm not sure like it's it's pure uh, like they are running some analytical query or something. Yeah. 
using the app, for example, let's say I will select to it and the parameters apply it in the this app. It should be something else. Seems to be something else. Yeah, sure. More sort of a web bank though. Okay, this is this is a little bit different what you passed. Okay, no one has answered. Sorry? <laughs> no one has answered after that. Mm -hmm. I, I guess, I guess below one answer is there for that. No, no, no. That's a different thing. It's for object page. Sorry. Yeah, I think he's trying to add it for object page. I mean. Yeah. Okay, let me check about this Aman once. Like I will also like note it down this query. Like while navigation, why why we make it uh, like if you're not making it as a hyperlink? So the hyperlink if you make other a, the hyperlink hmm. field is not getting passed. Is the issue hyperlink? Yeah, the the link which we just make it as a hyperlink only that field is not passing. Yeah, but it passes other information. Yes. No, so that's why like. Uh, okay, uh, did you try with the normal like uh, a normal CDS file like just adding a one or two columns and uh, without any uh, like a, a normal table without adding any uh, inner join and all? Have you tried this, that? Like this also doesn't have inner join. This have association only. Association only. Okay. Yeah. Like what you can do, maybe like just create a normal uh, CDS. Uh, means you can just write a normal data definition. And in that just add a normal two, three fields. OK, just for like uh, for OVP application, we just need a normal table card and just add three columns. Only keep the three columns in that. And then same three columns. What you can do like you can simply create a list report using a same table with that three columns without any inner join, without any association. Yeah. 
and then just make that sales order both the cases in as a key and then let's see whether it's passing that uh, sales order key as a parameter or not in in that navigation Uh, just one second, I will connect my charger here. just in case uh, i was trying this also do you know uh, i just copy pasted it from somewhere i don't know this error is coming do you know how can this be resolved uh you added it in was, controller yeah i just uh, I took a blog they are saying that okay add an action button i added that button i copied the code from mm -hmm, there. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. just see how the button appears and if i can call something from it but i don't know uh, yeah error somewhere. is because uh, i have IF is capital. It it should be in small case. Both. Hmm. This is That's how, it. This is how uh, different languages make fool of developers. <laughs> just by changing case, just by changing case, they. Hmm. Right. Yeah. You can just beautify this code like uh, Control Alt uh, Control Alt B. Beautify. Yeah. Hmm. I was trying actually the same thing here. I thought that let's see if this passes something to. Hmm. Uh, but you want to run it or deploy it? If I run something, at least the button will come, right? Mm hmm. Yeah, yeah. Tried it here also. Let's see. Let me now try on this. This is for in ALP that I tried. I again tried mm -hmm. another one to see if see over here it is for sure not a problem with everything. That somehow mm -hmm. on clicking that hyperlink field, this value is not getting passed. Mm -hmm. So now the one which you have passed, it's it for like for sales organization is getting passed, right? But only the sales document, the one which you make it as a hyperlink, that is not getting passed. Yes, and even the other field, which I, even the customer is not getting passed, it seems. Mm -hmm. So whatever is, whatever I'm turning into hyperlink, it seems it's not getting passed, which is strange. See, only sales org is there. So both customer and they were hyperlink and it's not getting passed. So this is quite strange. If I got this button in here. Okay, you got the button? Mm, yeah. Okay. So now when you click on this button, uh, it, it's a local app, right? Yeah, it will not do anything, right? Mm, it will not do anything. But uh, what, what, what code you have written for that? I don't know what they have written. <laughs> <laughs> OK, like this dot extension API get selected context. So you're getting the context. After context. that, you're getting the path. So first one which they have written, right? A context. So for that, this dot extension API that uh, maybe that should uh, that should get some information like Yes, right. Yeah, once it get the context, then only you you basically context is like um, in SAP UI. If I what we do, like whenever you want to click on any uh, row, row item or any link, mm -hmm. and if that link is within the table or within the row item, so if you want to get that path, 
like clicked record path. So in that case, we basically get the context. So if you get the get binding context, it will return the path on which record you have clicked. And then that record ID or some information, we can directly pass it. So like, I guess like when you uh, you can just simply deploy it once. I deployed it. So what hmm. I think what I was trying to do check here is I was trying to pass the order number parameter here. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Right. So, so uh, first of all, you got the nice order number. Yeah, you got the order number after that. Uh, that's the action uh, like a semantic object with action. After that, in M parameters, you're passing order number. So after that, using the usual dot container uh, navigate external. OK, navigate external in that you passed S outbound, which is the actual uh, semantic object plus action and then M parameters. Yeah. OK, let's see that. I'm not sure about this dot extension API that uh, that whether that is available or not that that we need to check. The problem is that this is for sure that whatever is being made now. I tried this ALP in this case. Both the CDS have the same key fields. Mm -hmm. so both had the same key fields, right? Yeah, yeah, yes. But still, it did not pass the sales order. Pass the sales order number. But it's instead of that, it's passing like uh, sales organization. Yeah, it's passing sales organization only. Is it possible it to filter out the data with the help of customer? It mm -hmm. did not even pass customer to it. I don't know why. So this has. So this is a problem with both. So it is happening here also. That means. Hmm. Yeah. The same that was happening in OVP table card because both of them are both ALP and OVP. They are calling the same application, right? Mm hmm. Yeah. So that means. Okay. First same. of all, let's uh, let's explain to Suprita what we are trying to do now here. So Suprita, like in this application, uh, yesterday you might have seen like we deployed three apps. So oh, okay. after yeah, after deploying these three apps. So the last topic which was left in in the CDS was the navigation. So we were just trying to achieve one navigation from which like uh, within a same app, how we can take a user to new app. So for example, um, the yesterday we configured OVP application overview page application. So in that multiple cards are already there. So within that table card, we made one of the column as a hyperlink. So when we click on that hyperlink, uh, what should happen like it should directly take a user to the list report app where where we actually display that information in detail. So for example, if I'm creating a table card for sales order details. So for sure, like within that table card, uh, it will be having very less information like within that table card, hardly three columns we are displaying. But when we actually take a user to uh, to the screen, like to the actual app where it has like more than 10 or 15 columns and he, ha he has a full uh, feasibility to filter out the data anyhow. So we just need to perform that navigation part. So how that navigation is performed like in OVP. So the code that we have written for the. Um, the code that we have written for creating that table card, the CDS code. So we have added line item. OK, meanwhile, Aman, you can you can do that. I'll just I'll share my screen. I'll explain that to Suprita. OK, yeah, I'm hmm. trying to see if something. Just give us one minute. So is my screen visible, Suprita? Yes, sir, we could see. Yeah, OK, so let's consider that we have a table. OK, so when we go back here. So let's consider this is the uh, not this one. OK, let's consider OVP is our application like overview application. So within this application, you can say like how to first of all, how to create this hyperlinks. OK, so to create any column has a hyperlink. So we need to add a, a single annotation in that. 
Okay, we need to add an annotation for that respective column. When we specify that, when we specify that annotation for that column, what will happen automatically? This uh, the values that that are available under this column, which it will be highlighted as a link, so that you can click on this link, and it will take user to that new application. Okay. So first of all, how to add that code and where we need to add. So let's consider this uh, table card. Okay. So I just created one a card which is related to the table card. Okay. So this is a table card which is displaying all the sales order details related information. So to make this column as a as a hyperlink, so you can directly go to CDS code and you can see one uh, code that I have written here. Okay. For example, on the division. So on the top we have division based sales and in this we have a ID. Uh, we have one column as a ID in which we are displaying all those division IDs as a hyperlink. So how to make that division IDs as a hyperlink just by adding this piece of code at the rate consumption dot semantic object and this semantic object we have to specify of another app means if I'm clicking on the division hyperlink. OK division ID hyperlink. So we have to take user to other app like I want to take a user to the list report app. OK, so the app that will be like that app will be displaying uh, division related details, uh, division related information in in much more detail. OK, so if I want to take user to the division based uh, the list report application, so I will specify a semantic object of that list report app. OK. So this semantic object we can get it from the Fury designer like wherever we are configuring or we, we have passed this semantic object as a uh, this semantic object. It is like a basically it is used for the navigation purpose. This is basically used uh, to identify that app because in Fury Launchpad navigation is is uh, it is done based on semantic object and action type. OK, so this semantic object is required. Once we pass the semantic object of the app on which we will take user to that app when user will click on that uh, division base ID. OK, so as soon as he clicks, so first of all, before he clicks, first of all, we have to specify the app, uh, the app on which we have to take the user. So that apps semantic object we have to store here. OK, so once you pass the semantic object of that, uh, of that next app on which we have to navigate, then we have to add in at the rate UI dot line item. So in the in this at the rate UI dot line item, so already we have added position and label. OK, based on this position and label that column is getting defined. The order of column is getting defined as a first and after that the, the label of that column is ID. OK, so next you can give comma and then you can again you can add this object. OK, again you can add this object in which we have to sp specify the type as with intent based navigation. So when you specify the type as a with intent based navigation, so automatically that column values will be converted in hyperlink. OK, and after that we need to add this semantic object action and in action we can just specify manage display or whatever like based on your role. So once you specify this action and once you specify this semantic object, so this will be called as an intent. OK, what is an intent? Intent is nothing but it is a combination of semantic object and action type. So action type is display and semantic object name is this, which is of the other app. And how you can say that, how I can specify whether what should be the semantic object action and semantic object. So for example, when I click on this uh, app, OK, when I'm clicking on this app division base sale, I want to take user to ALP application. Let's consider I want to take user to ALP application. So to take a user to ALP application, so whatever the semantic object I have defined. So this is my ALP application. OK, so let's consider this is the tile. This is the tile of ALP application. So I can directly go to semantic object. Uh, sorry, the target mapping and I can directly check the semantic object ID for that. So this is the semantic object ID and what is the action for that display? 
so this semantic object name and action both should match okay so these details we have to pass properly in this semantic object and semantic object action so once we pass then only it will take user to that screen otherwise what will happen you will get a pop up saying that no content found or otherwise no content available so when you will get that when you click on that hyperlink whenever you will click on that hyperlink and if you are getting no content found it means we just have to cross check once like semantic object and semantic object action okay so just by adding this piece of code this two lines of code once we add so automatically that uh, the table automatically that co column values will be converted as a hyperlink and user can easily user can easily navigate to that page okay and one more important thing is that like whatever the link you make like in this case i have just made it for the division based sales okay and this is the id for that when i click on this link it will take user to alp application so this is my alp application right so in this alp application so i have passed division right so what was the division which i passed let's go back so same amand like whatever you said like for id whichever column i make i'm making it as a id so that values are not getting passed right okay so it's uh, same thing is happening for you yes yes yeah it's the same thing happening for me like i i have just created one uh, uh, earlier i have created one card division based sales and when i'm clicking on this link id so it just passing other information like the division description Uh, total order value and total credit price so other columns or other values are getting passed but not the actual one which is a hyperlink so that only i have seen here so you are calling alp uh, alp from the table card yeah actually i've just uh, i just wanted to check whether it's working or not but this one yeah this one i can check sales document number okay, no it's see sales document number no it's not right mm -hmm. uh one second this is for This is the ELP only. Yeah, I have that ELP. A plant I've added. I guess this is one which I'm using there. Z test ALP. Let me check. right it is passing plant but it's not passing the sales organization right mm right it's not passing that mm yeah it's it's happening same for me as well like the sales org which i have uh, which i made it as a hyperlink for that it it's not passing other details are getting plus like plant division and uh, the channels okay but at least like for navigation base uh, this is how like we basically perform the navigation so it's only about like how we need to understand like how it is getting pass other details and not, why not the sales organization So let me check this amount once. 
like to tomorrow like uh, tomorrow let me check if if i'm able to get i'll definitely share with you something is it because i'm not sure why it could be the reason because if you use some other field as uh, as you know hyperlink then it gets passed okay like means if i add this hyperlink for plant then uh, oh, sorry yeah. for division so in that case yeah. it will be getting passed yeah i try it at your end week once okay see yeah. what was happening for me so that's why i'm thinking that what is why is it behaving like this let me check that so i'll add it for uh, division and uh, okay so this line item sorry wait i'll just make it as a line and one more column This I'll make it as twenty and division. Okay, fine. So just added this. Let me check. Hmm. Okay. So when I click on this, huh? Yeah. Now it is getting passed. See? Yeah. No, actually, uh, what I have seen like it, it's not specific to that link which you make, because to perform the navigation. Uh, whatever the basic information is required as a context, that information is getting passed. So only key informations or details are getting passed, which are uh, and which are required for to perform the data filtration in in the new app. Only that details are getting passed. Right, but but it should pass the sales document is an. See it based on the requirement. That, yeah, ID. that also an important yes. So when you click but, on sales order, it should display mm -hmm. you know another application with the sales order number. So sales order number that should be the normal behavior. It is passing all. Like any ID, it, if you are clicking, it's not passing mm -hmm. the sales order number. It's, it's a problem. It. <laughs> not sure why why it has that issue. And then parallel it, it's also passing like distribution channel and plant. Okay, so for in my case, like I have not this field, like this field is not there with me. Month year and document document date. I have only distribution channel and plant. So only like it it, it passed three fields. 